Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. We're in the game Scum, and we're now in episode 73. And guess what? There's something really exciting that I need to share with everyone. We actually have, well, kind of, a world exclusive. We have only just found out that there are new drops in Scum. These new drops are electrified. Look at this. They come with free electricity that you can take home. Well, not really, no. Actually, that's not what happened. Anyway, uh, I just thought that would be funny. But, yeah, look, see? You don't normally see uh, the drops powered, do you? Anyway, last episode, if you remember correctly, I was running over, supposedly, off-camera, yeah, to get the drop, and the drop didn't exactly land where it should have dropped. So, this is actually not on the ground. It's sitting on top of a... Um, I'm not sure what you'd call it, a small electrical building. And you might be wondering, well, how did you get up here? Um, I didn't build anything to get up, I just brought over the car, look! Look, there it is down there. So anyway, so this is the stuff I got from the drop, right? So I used my crowbar, I went through, you know, I was here at about the 40 minute mark, so it's taken me about 12 plus minutes to get in and out, like, like it normally does. Anyhow, so if I drop down, drop down, drop, look, I'm standing in mid-air almost. There you go. So I had to put the car here, get out of the car, jump on the roof, and then jump up to get on top of here. So, yeah, if I take a better look from out here, that just looks weird. Not, don't, you know, don't, um, don't ask me how it actually got down between the tower there, but it came down, so there it is sitting right on top of one of these little buildings. I couldn't believe it when I realised where it had landed, but anyway. So the car comes in handy. It's not just a little red tank, it's also a stepladder. How good is that? It's like waiting for the steak knives. Oh no, hang on. Uh, can we just nudge backwards? Don't knock me over. Can I get in now? Ah. What a beautiful little tank. Alright. Thank you very much, Lee. We'll go back over to the to the bunker, which don't forget is just here. Because don't forget that little drop's going to blow up, <coughs> so we don't want to be parked too close to it. So yeah, that's what happened last episode. We left it as it was coming down, and it was kind of like maybe like that. So it was only like a, I don't know, a quarter of the way f down from the top and I exited the episode and then found out it was actually sitting on top of the building, so very bizarre. Anyhow, what stuff have we got? We've got stuff on us from the drop, so I was getting bags in and out of this top one, so we'll put this guy in here, we'll grab another bag, we don't need that at the moment. That's a hundred percent, okay. And... Uh, you know what, we don't really need another water bottle either, I don't think. I think we should be right. Yeah, okay. Alright, <coughs> we'll put that back in the car. So this is it, people. We're going to go in for a third time. While we're here, we might as well repeat and rinse a couple of times. Can't believe that landed on the building. Anyway. So, here we go again. Uh, uh, no, we can't. Oh my goodness, we can't. Uh, hang on. We can, but we can't. So, I actually have to exit the game, come back in again, because we need to respawn the loot, remember? Oh dear. Alright, I'll be back in a sec. I'll exit, I'll come back, we'll be back here again, and we'll try our luck a third time. Back in a sec. Alright everyone, I'm back again, I'm back again, <laughs> let's, <laughs> now let's have a look, let's see what we can find in here for the third time. Uh, what's my pistol got by the way? Yeah, see, it's worth checking every time, it's worth checking, because I end up with not the full load of ammunition. Right. Now we're right. Alright, and because I've spawned into the game close to the bunker, the odds are there's no one close by. Well, can't hear a beeper. I can 
can see a couple of guys a little bit further away maybe you can see one there and oh hang on there's one close there there's one way up the top ah uh, we'll just sneak past them I just don't want them to attract a beeper from somewhere else that could be a disaster see I'm not here don't exist. Actually, they could even trigger just because they hear the door open. And there could actually be someone in here, so... No one right at the door? No. Doesn't look like he's going to trigger enough. <laughs> Alright. Too late. Too late! Doesn't mean there's not someone up here, though. Anyone around this corner? I'm not exactly doing this in stealth mode. There is somebody. It's a big guy! He's down. Ah, oh, man. Oh, what is it with all the big guys? Man! Oh crap, it's a, it's a, it's a bad gun day. Hang on, just give me a sec, just hang on a second. That's better. <sighs> um, <laughs> I had a gun jam. Now, they're all on the surface, correct? They are all on the surface, Trev, don't worry. Oh my goodness, health wise, C1, C1, is that a C1? I think they're all C1s, oh man, I'm so lucky. Alright, <coughs> um, so, yeah. Let's have a look, we might as well do the big gun first. Let's just load up ammo for it, which will be interesting to see. If I can see it. Yeah, they're big bullets. Holy doolies. Alright. Reload this guy back up, and then we'll swap back over to the pistol. And the same for the pistol, except I have to use more of them. We're going to have to check the pistol out too, because I think there's a a bullet stuck in the chamber or something stupid. Oh, I wonder if I need to. Yeah, my guns are getting down in quality a bit, aren't they? Seventy-two percent. Maybe that contributed a bit as well. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, which one is it? Is it this one? Hang on. Load the mag. Okay, if you can shift R on the gun to see how many bullets are there, and it works, then I think it means it's ready to go again. I believe so. Alright, um, let's just go drinkies. Because I've noticed that he's... Oh, I'm going to have to pee again. <laughs> hey man. Yep, yep, it's just part of the game, Trev. Just get used to it. As soon as you're finished, put that in here somewhere. Where's my knife gone? Where did he put the knife? Why why is the knife up there? I have no idea why like, no idea why he does that from time to time. Um hang on a second. Go up there with this... No, just, I have to go for a pee in a second. I just thought I'd go inside one of those rooms. Feels a little bit safer. Anything exciting? Ooh. Yeah, no, not, not that ammo. I can't believe there's three big guys right in this area here. There can't be any more guys around close by, surely. Nope. Take that as a no. I don't think there's anyone around, so... Yeah, uh, that's a no. Alright, let's just go in one of these rooms so we feel a little bit safer. I did say try to close the door. Alright, there you go, now you can pee. Man, let it go, let it go. Ah. He's saying to himself, ah. So what's he up to? Back to one. 
Yeah, that won't take long to fill. I've got fresh water in my stomach, so... And my intestines, I suppose, so yeah. Anyway, alright. Back to the mission at hand. Oh man, they're all on the surface there, getting aggroed at me. Running around on my own. I can't have freedom, that's not right. That's not scum. You're a prisoner, dude. You know, all that kind of stuff. Alright. Actually, hang on a second. Oh, okay. It says 97% health there. Anyway, alright. I think I'm, I'm just going to heal. Anyone in this big room? Oh man, I can hear a beeper. Alright, so guess what? Is he in the corner? He is in the corner. Crap, he's just there. Let's see. There was a guy there. I think that was the beeper, right? Ready? I can hear footsteps. Hang on. There should be someone right here. He should be right at the door. Oh, come on. Now I can hear two beepers. Where on earth is he? Was he stuck? I didn't even hear the beeping go off. I'm sure that was a beeper over in the corner. I'm going to go back through the footage of this episode and double check. Where the heck is this other beeper? Oh, I hate this feeling. I'm sure I saw... Yeah, it was over here. He was stuck. Oh, anyway. Oh, you don't often see them in this room here. And so, okay. Remember last episode we came through that door and it was actually through here? I just have to keep an ear out. Oh, I didn't even hear the beeper though. Oh, I don't know whether that's a bug or whether they've changed something, but that's scary. Uh-oh, where's this beeper? He better not be down this corridor. There's someone behind that door, though. Here he comes. Now, is he above me? That's not him behind the door down there, is it? That's it, you beep a lot. He's gonna go. Oh, wow, he was behind that door. <laughs> Jeez! What's going on with all the beepers? Oh, sorry, madam. Eh, yeah, nah. Sorry, that's a no. That's a no from me. See, he was just behind the door. Man, anyway. Okay, so this is where we come. Is it this one? It's this one. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, you ready, people? Let's see if we get a depleted uranium container again. <gasps> Guess what? We not only get it, but we get the new hazmat suit. Oh, couldn't have asked for more. How's that? All my Christmases came at once. Kind of. Well, that's it. That's the shortest episode ever. No. Well, I'm going to search for anything else that's valuable that I can get and that I can fit in and it won't be bee pollen pal um, pills because I've got too many. I've got far too many. 
Alright, this may not be the longest episode anyway, but I'm going to go back with a bit of loot, and hopefully I don't die. That doesn't do anything, does it? No. Alright. Gonna search these rooms, see if there's anything exciting that I can take back. Yeah, might take that. Alright. So I guess the next best thing after just looking through a little bit of loot in these rooms is probably to go find the armories again. You never know, you could always find an M82 in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. I can also throw it out, but painkillers in a box. I can always take them to the trader and sell them, I suppose. Make a few extra dollars, I suppose. Alright, so back to the main room. We know it's not that way. Sorry, madam. But I had to do it. Part of the game, it's part of the game. I wonder if I'm gonna hear another beeper. They're not in here, are they? No. No, 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 no. They're not. They're not, they're not, they're not. Now, where was the armories again? Is there one down here? Hang on, how many bullets have I got again? No, I better do the right thing. Let's just fill that up again. I'm not sure why the game is loading up so many big guys. I can hear footsteps. But there's no one putting their face through this door yet. No. Hang on, this is not the right way, is it? No. Not through there. Oh, was it the top one? Hang on, might be the top one. Probably they're going to stick their heads through here. Yeah, they are. Okay. Do it again. Do it again. In your face. As Nord says. Oh, man. Okay. Anyone else? coming from. I can't see behind me. Oh, yeah, yes I can. <laughs> Go the other way I can. What did you all leave me? Ah, basically nothing. So this is where the armory is, right? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Just looking at that gun on an angle. No, I'm trying hard not to take... No, I've got better shotguns at home. Nope. Nope. Yes. Nope. That's a no. Oh, should I take another green? Hmm. I'm tempted, I tell you. I have got a few. I have got a few. Alright. So there's one armory. I am sure at a one point in time they used to have a lot more. Oh, does he want to pee again? Oh, fine. Go for it. Apparently the room's safe. Let's pay over the... Can you pee over there? No, no. Can't even reach. Not enough pressure, dude. Not enough pressure. Alright, so I gather it's this top one. On this corner, I think, because I came in there. Make sure you've got your gun out. Don't mess up. Where are those footsteps coming from? one. I 
I can hear footsteps. Why does it always sound metal? Can't be anyone just here. They'd be poking their heads around the corner by now. Oh, he's got me some money. It's a pity he can't use those combat boots. You know, even if... Eh, I don't know. You can't get them past 50% anyway. Uh, that was that room. Then we went through here. There's no one else here, is there? Alright. So this is the one without the thing on the wall. I'll oh, tell there's water bottle there as well. No, not the... Well, actually, I will take that. Good stuff, bad stuff, whole bunch of stuff. Hmm. There was a time. Some of that stuff was pretty important to have. Now I guess I've got just too much of it. Aspirin. Oh, not a bad knife. But I've got a few knives. It's like most stuff, you start to get too much. Plenty of stuff I could take and sell, I suppose. No. Does this one have the serum in it? Come on. I'd love to see the serum again. Oh, look at that! Oh, some isopropyl alcohol. No, <laughs> 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 Bee pollen. <laughs> Getting too much bee pollen stuff. Should I take that? I know it's only an empty bag, but it'll eventually become a sandbag. And then I can use it to upgrade the base. How's that? See, that's always worth it. Nope. And nope. And nope. And nope. Oh, well, I mean, the occasional battery's not bad. I mean, I know I've got enough as it is, but... Hang on. Did I just come from here? I did too. Alright. We're finished here, people. We're finished. There's lots of noises going on, though. We don't need to go up there. We're finished with here. We'll keep going around here instead of going straight. Oh no, we will go straight. Alright, so how full are we? Can't believe we've got that other hazmat suit. That's a bargain. That is absolutely brilliant. Uh, I don't think there was anything else at the top. I got a feeling it was back down the bottom here. But where did I see it? I think that's the one that was a no-go. I've got a feeling this went nowhere as well. Yeah, that just went around the corner. It's not that way. Sorry people if I'm making you a bit drunk. I don't mean to. So not that one. Well I've already been through there, so it can't be that one. So where else was the armory then? Hang on, let me just double check. No, this thing didn't hang on, is this go somewhere else? I can't remember. Oh, it does. Oh, that's right. I think this goes up to the other doorway, isn't it? This is the other way into the base. Yeah. Why don't I just loot some of these things? Come on, show me an M82 or something ridiculous. Nah, I don't think so. Although you never know. Actually, that might be useful. I'm gonna need something. What sort of strategy am I? Oh, <coughs> that's all right. Um, what sort of strategy me am I going to use near the nuke zone then? Do I use flares to bring everyone out so I can see who's there? Do I find a high position somewhere? I mean, it's really hard to play in there because it's so um, misty. It's like Scum has taken some of the advice from the Mistlands in Velholm or something. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems so bizarre. It's spooky. It's like dusty, smoky, not sure else what else you'd call it. Did 
Did I come down here before? I don't think I did. I did. I think this. Hang on. This is a different one, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> Found it again. Yeah. That's that's awesome. That's worth it. Oh my goodness. That is brilliant to get a couple of the serums already. Oh man. This really has been worth it in terms of the medicines and stuff. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Not to mention the hazmat suits and uh, the depleted uranium can canisters. Fantastic. Yeah, man, it's a pity it you know, weighs 10 kilos. Oh, excuse me! Sorry about that. It's been a long day in scum, apparently. Ooh. It's not bad. 73%. Oh, and a decent knife. Uh, decent pair of scissors as well. Alright, we've done this one. Mind you, that's actually pretty successful. The gear that we found so far... I'll oh, we'll grab a box of bolts. I don't really care in one way now because I've got the special loot that I was chasing. Which is absolutely fantastic. If I haven't said it 20,000 times already. Uh, nope. Nope. Actually, some of the loot in that center room, that we, the big room we came from, sometimes there's actually some pretty good loot in there too. Uh, in, in the middle bits, I mean, not so much those little grey boxes on the wall, but you get good um, ammo from them quite a lot. Yep. Never give up the chance to have some potassium iodide, eh? Hey. Alright. That has been a success. I think. Oh. Alright. We're off. We're back to that centre room again. Yeah, hiking bag's pretty full, actually. Let's see if we can ransack some of this centre room. Hopefully no one's appeared back in here, no? Oh my goodness, can you imagine what it'd be like if you came back in here thinking everything was... ...free of puppets and there was a there was a beeper in here? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what I would do. Heart attack, probably. I had a big enough scare when I came into the room and just saw him over the top of that center pile of stuff there and went, I think that's a beeper. Kinda lucky in one way he was trapped. He seemed to be stuck in the corner. Oh, some money. Yeah, he seemed to be stuck in this corner here somewhere. Yeah, they're angry beavers. Let's go up around this walkway and see if there's anything in these containers at all. Oh, actually... Hang on a second, wasn't there gear along here? On the top of this walkway? I know there's different bunkers, but... I was certain the C2 bunker always had that. I don't know, that is mega weird. That is very, very weird. Anyway. Alright, let's check through these for any... amounts of... Ammo in particular, especially the boxes like that. I think that's a pretty good find when you can get a full box of ammo. Uh, I won't take the 45s on there. Uh, I will take the MP5 suppressor. That's what I should be bringing out too, is the MP5. It's so small, you can put it in your... in your little bag. Some parts of your storage. No. Should I be bothered looking through these boxes? Padlock, no. A bobby pin thing, no. A nail, no. That's where I came from. Scrap metal, I would sometimes take it, but not at the moment. Oh, yes. 
That's not bad. Oh man. Oh man, I've got so many of those 12 gauge suppressors now. So, no, no, no. There you go. 9mm I'll take. Oh, really? That's a little bit unusual to pick up that. Alright, let's just join these together. Might do that. Did I do that last one? Yeah, I did. Alright, let's forget those other boxes and go for these little ones again. Oh, yeah. I will takey takeys. More shotgun shells, some more 9mm bullets, does that make 30? It does. Uh, I've got one of the axes I think, I don't really need another one. Oh, another battery. Gee, I'm gonna be right for batteries, hey. Down here, nope. I think that's almost it, apart from the top level. I might do the top level through the middle here. See what other ammo we can get our hands on. No, that's just paper. That is the other type of paper. <laughs> I'll takey takey the money money. Nope. Really, it should be making our own ammo and stuff, but it's so regularly available. Like that. You just go, what's the point? Fives, earplugs, I'll say a no no, a no no, uh, did I already have some of them? No, I'll skip that, nope, yeah it goes to show just how often I'm seeing 45 ammo on its own. It's a shame that the M1911 doesn't hold more um, more bullets than just the um, is it seven that it does? You know, when the M9's holding um, fifteen, like sixteen, including the chamber, that's like big, big difference. Ooh, another battery. You're doing all right for batteries in this episode. No, 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 no. Nope. It's kind of interesting what stuff you get in here. Including the amount of free money, apparently. No, the binoculars I won't bother with. Nope, nope. Nopey, nope, nope. No. Oh, that's another one of them. Oh, I probably don't need that many of them. Where is this drop coming down? Oh, it's a fair way further away this time. Uh, shotgun shells. Hat. I'll skip the hat, but I'll take the money. Have I been through here yet? Hang on. Is it when I came to the top of the stairs? Oh, okay, I've only got this little bit to go. Alright. Normally that would be a handy thing. Actually, that's one thing I'm not sure if I took to the outposts, was an extra couple of these guys. Hang on a second, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, maybe that's not a bad idea. Grab a couple of these and take them with us, hang on. Yeah, that might be a good thing. I think that's a good thing. Alright, a couple more of these to look through. Metal pipe, no. New. 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 Okay. Alright, I tell you what, um, this might be a shorter episode because I've kind of been in and out where I've needed to go. And look at this, I can't believe it. 
<sighs> spare modern hazmat suit and the depleted uranium. Oh man, that's brilliant. So look, people, uh, is it that way or that way? No, that way. This is definitely the bunker to come to, unless they change it down the track. Oh man. And now it looks like you kind of, um, every time you come in here you get one of the depleted uranium canisters, so yes, it's the place to go. Unless unless it's everywhere now, which, which it could be. Alright, now we just need to get out safely. Because it is possible that they've all respawned. Like they often do. Can't hear anyone. Oh, I can hear them on the f on the surface. What the? Did you hear that? There's a wolf up there. Fantastic. That's all I need to get attacked by a wolf. I said safely, game. I said safely. Not attacked by all the the puppets, the beepers, and animals. Can you believe that? If I come out of here and there's a wolf, I mean, yeah. Why? Why are my shoes back in here again? That's got to be a bug of some sort. Uh, can I repair anything else? That's no, they're all pretty good, actually. Even though I got smacked around a few times. Alright. I do need to eat and drink fairly soon, but... Just double check. 10 out of 15. See? This is why you need to check a lot, Trev. Alright, we'll fill that up. Take it, that's his breath, you know. It looks like his smoke's coming out of his neck. Alright. Let's see if we encounter any puppets or dogs. There's one way up, one puppet way up there. I can't hear the dog at the moment. It's not to say he's not outside the fence line. Can't see a wolf. He could very well be outside of here, or he could be back on top of that mountain up there somewhere. I would have to say, honestly, that's about the first time I've been coming out of the bunker here at C2 and heard a wolf. I've seen them down here a bit further. I don't know, I can't... S oh, crap. <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm not gonna, I can't hear them again. I'd rather see them before they see me. I don't know people, you probably spot him before I do, but he's definitely in this area somewhere, but anyway, I can't see him, I just have to assume that he's not right next to the car yeah, that would be a A real stupid thing to encounter, wouldn't it? Anyway, people, I will leave the episode here. Hope you've liked today's episode. That's three times lucky. Three times lucky getting the hazmat suits. Both the vintage and the new one. And the depleted uranium canister as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Now we can move on to bigger and better things in the nuclear zone. Yeah. Alright, everyone. Uh, if you've liked the episode, please go ahead and support the channel by smacking that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. That will really help the channel grow. Alright, thanks everyone. Cheers.